Hey everybody, welcome back. Tonight, we're gonna do an unboxing slash toy review. One of those things where you don't have to look at my silly face, but you get a really good close-up look at these awesome toys as we open them and see what we think. So, uh, let's get into this. Today we're gonna open from this company. I need to learn how to pronounce their name properly, and I'll explain this in a minute. Uh, NJ Kroce, Croce, C-R-O-C-E. Uh, I'm gonna email them and ask them. Like they said, I will explain in a minute. Uh, first off, this actually came out of the Loot Crate from Loot Crate DX, excuse me, for January, and I absolutely adored it because I love Batman, I love Batman 66, and this is an awesome collection of figures that in the box, at least, look really fantastic. So I freaked out so much over them that the company that makes these saw that and they saw I also do toy reviews and uh, they ended up sending me a whole bunch of stuff that I will be reviewing here lately. They did not send me this, this obviously came out of Loot Crate. But you know, that may, that may you know, it, it makes me kind of happy. So, um, and you guys know I'm pretty easy on things anyways, but I'm still gonna give you guys a really good look at these things and we're gonna take a look at the ones I got out of Loot Crate because some then also came in a comic block and now just to today as I'm filming this, they sent me a whole bunch of other stuff. But uh, I'm excited to get in here. I've been sitting on this too long. I've been, this is, I have a bunch of toy reviews I need to do and this is the one I've been most excited to get to. <laughs> so uh, let's do this. So let's take a little look around the box. Obviously, you know, we've got Adam West, Batman, Burt Ward, Robin, uh, Burgess, Meredith, Penguin, uh, Julie Newmar, Catwoman, I think is what we decided, and Cesar Romero, Joker, one of the greatest Jokers of all time. And, uh, you know, and give you a little look around all the box so you can kind of see what everything looks like. Awesome artwork there on the side. Same artwork there. Same work, our artwork on the top and the bottom, and I already kind of showed you the back. They do also make a smaller, these are the five and a half inch figures, they make like a three inch size figure, and they make vehicles for that, including a 66 Batmobile that looks pretty sweet. So uh, there's also a second series of these that's coming that I'm gonna have to get. They didn't send it to me, but I'm gonna have to get it because uh, it has an egghead figure in here. Yeah, a Vincent Price egghead. Um, now, uh, you can find like most of these things at Entertainment Earth, and then they're kind of, kind of a new company, so they're going out to all kinds of new places. No tape on the side, so that makes things a little easy to get into. I know some of the things they sell are designed to be packaged and repackaged, so if you're a collector and you want to take them out but you want to put them back in, you can. I'm pretty sure I saw that. So as we get in here, we just kind of got them bubble carded to your standard piece of cardboard with uh, the nice, uh, just a big white circle back there. I would assume we were going to get the Batman uh, symbol, but I don't know. It just makes it look better, you know, get a little more contrast. So I guess we're just going to pop right in here and uh, start pulling them out. At least we're going to try. I may just have to kind of tear at it. Here we go. Here we go. Now I'm getting getting in there. Aha! <laughs> I know how to open toys. There we go. Oh, these are nice. Very, very nice. They have a real nice feel to them, too. So let's take a closer look up at some of these things. Move that out the way just so maybe I can actually get good focus here. There we go. Pretty good sculpt going in the face, you know? Some nice paint detail. Cloth uh, cape, that's kind of expected. Really good detail on the belt, I like that. Of course we have some air holes, it's a bendable. You know, you have to do that so that it'll actually bend. No pegs on the shoes, so I don't know if that'll become an issue or not. We'll find out here shortly. Let's see, because I was really curious. I assume since you can bend them, you should be able to balance them pretty well to stand. Like, that's not too bad. I sense these already bending back out of shape, but, you know, you just kind of play with them a little bit until you get the balance right. Yeah, they're actually going to stand pretty well, at least these. There's uh, some interesting ones for the animated series, so. Uh, yeah, they bend pretty interestingly. Let's see, all right. It's a little tough to bend. It's a little tougher than I thought, but that's good. That way it'll actually hold the bend as you do it. Hello, Gotham. Hello, citizens of Gotham. How are you today? Robin, to the Batcave. Okay, the head, it wants to bend, but not a whole lot. So you got some posability there. You can turn the torso slightly. You definitely got some good knee bend and leg bend going on. And even like foot bend, it looks like. Although I don't know that it wants to stay in certain positions, but that's okay. It's a good quality, I like this. So I don't know, let's see, can you, can you kind of do that? It doesn't look like it wants to bend too much up in the hip area. I'm Batman! <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool though. It's not as posable as I would have liked though, because it'd be nice if I could put them in a seated, seated position and such, but hey, you know what? You're going to be able to make them stand and make them look cool as, as Adam West can be, which is really freaking cool. All right, so I'll stop playing with him a little bit. Let's, let's play with Burt Ward. <laughs> the Boy Wonder. Oh, that's a really good sculpt on that face, dude. That's really nice, and those eyes look fantastic, honestly. 
They got the colors really perfect for this. Another cloth cape. And his arms seem a little bit more bendable, but you know, they're not as muscular. Gee willikers, Batman. Yeah, I like that, okay. Yep, same kind of bending situation there. Let's see if we can make him stand. It looks like you can. Again, I just don't want to take, you know, too much time playing with that on the camera, but I'm sure it looks just like Batman. If you work it out, you can get him in there. All right, let's take a look at the penguin. We're going to do Joker last because, you know, Cesar Romero Joker is awesome. Okay, the monocle is a little, I don't know. I guess it's okay. That's one thing it could be a little bit better, but they did get his face pretty well. Uh, I guess because it's a children's toy, they couldn't do the cigarette because I do believe they want to sell these uh, in kids' aisles, I would think. You know, like Toys R Us and stuff, so I'm pretty sure they wouldn't let them do the cigarette thing. Uh, yeah, he's, he's pretty much just as bendable. His tuxedo tails are kind of hooked to him, though. They are not separate in the mold. Yeah, that's not bad. I'm a penguin. I'm going to dance like a penguin because I got happy feet. All right, let's check out. Wow, I totally reversed that whistle. Let me try that again. There we go. Batman, meow. Cool. Uh, looks like I got a little paint damage on the hair there. But again, just a, another. They, they've got the likenesses really, really good on these. Trust me, I'm, I'm being cool. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna perv out. <laughs> not on camera, anyways. Now she will be interesting to see if she stands because of the high heels. That kind of thing always makes me wonder. I got a feeling she, you're gonna have to like lean her against something or get a figure stand of some sort. Now also I'm trying to balance it on cloth so that does make a little bit of a difference for me. Although I've got it pretty well flattened out. Hmm. Yeah, she might be problematic standing up just cause of those high heels. So that's something to keep in mind. Now she's got more shoulder bend. <laughs> all right, all right. So yeah, so the heels are a little bit of a problem, but that's okay. All right, Cesar Romero Joker. <laughs> now, they made him look really cool, although I, with the sculpts they've given me, I honestly would have loved to have had a little bit of a push there, push out for the mustache, because he always painted over his mustache. He wouldn't shave it. Ooh, I'm a crazy. What am I, I went into my Mario voice there. And again, this, the coattails are kind of molded in, so I think I would have liked it a little bit better if those were molded out, but you know, you can't please everybody all the time. Nice, and he's gonna stand very well, I'm sure. Just, you know, you just gotta pose him up. Yep, cool. All right, cool, man. Yeah, I like these. Um, so I think a set like this, I don't know what it would cost you retail. I'm gonna say 20 or 25 bucks, I think. It might be more like 30, but I would say that's a heck of a deal. So, uh, yeah. All right, cool. I'm excited to open the other stuff. Um, it's it's not as perfect as I would like. I think they look better in the package. Well, I think in the package because they stand, they look fantastic. Outside, they still look fantastic. But again, when you have like high heels, you're gonna have some problems. There's some issues and they don't bend it quite the way I want them to in certain places. But still, I really like these. I still want that other set. I still think this is very cool. All right, what about you guys? Do you get, dig these things? Are you looking for them? I'll put a link down below that you can use for maybe finding them on Entertainment Earth if I can find that link. And, uh, you know, I'll give you a link to the company just in case you want. Since, you know, they are kind of sent, they have sent me stuff. Uh, not this, but stuff you'll see in the future. And, uh, yeah, so just let me know what you're thinking. Comment with me. Geek out. Who's your favorite Batman 66 character? What villain or hero or version would you like to see them make? And just, you know, all that kind of stuff. Comment, comment, comment. Other than that, you can give me the thumbs up of encouragement because I do love to be encouraged. All right, I'm going to get out of here and open up some more toys. I'll see you all later. Later.